So, I'm completely new to Baldur's Gate. I'm gonna play a strange, kind of weak character and on the hardest difficulty, which is daunting to experienced players even. So, I think we're in for a fantastic, interesting adventure. And since I plan on role-playing as a deranged madman, you maybe you'll get to see the results of all those decisions that you didn't want to take in your game because you <laughs> suck sensible. <laughs> So, I was looking around for the, what to play for a long time, actually, and it was pretty close to being a cleric knowledge domain for the intelligence and language skills. I wanted something that could be diverse and present a lot of opportunities for trickery and fun, interesting <laughs> shenanigans. But I realized, like, I sh really should be playing a bard, but then I've never liked bards in these games. It just feels sort of silly. But then I got the idea, what if I make a really, really deranged Joker-type bard? It's not gonna be good or evil, especially maybe less good, <laughs> but m mostly just deranged. And we'll see what, where that leads us. I, um, yeah, our background, I'll start with the background actually. He's a noble. You were raised in a family amongst the social elite, accustomed to power and privilege. Accumulating renown, power, and loyalty will raise your status. So he has an urge for like power and renown, but he's also so goddamn crazy that he was sort of expelled or shunned from his uh, family or noble uh, house. So now he's like resenting his loss of stature and just trying to gain fame and power his own deranged way. It's a human, most people recommend other races when playing a bard. But the way I think about these games is like, role-playing is far and above uh, most important to me, much more than uh, creating a strong character or efficient character, so... That's actually very freeing when you're playing a new game, because it doesn't really matter if I do mistakes in the character creation, and... Um, because I'm just gonna do what I think fits the character and is beautiful in a role-playing uh, sort of way. One uh, fun thing, though, about being human is that all humans get <laughs> just distracted by. <laughs> yeah, one, you get this human versatility. One more skill to be proficient in. So later, when we select these, we get one extra. And I really want this guy to be versatile. So for the cantrips, I chose uh, vicious mockery, <laughs> insult the creature, <laughs> uh, and. Uh, uh, minor illusion, and just because I think uh, this is sort of trickery, it would suit this guy. And spells, I chose... No, this is a reset, so... Mo I think this healing word is probably really good, because you 
uh, healing is usually strong. But I'm uh, same thing here. I'm go just going to go with what I think is um, fits this guy, and this would be charm. And then dissonant whispers frighten a creature. I think this is perfect for him as well. And this Tasha's hideous laughter leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. Yeah, this is like so perfect of a spell for this guy. So this, and then I'll go with sleep. I think this is also like almost a hypnotizing other creatures uh, or people. Maybe just uh, people, no. Now put a creature into magical slumber for two turns. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, this would, guy would be into hypnotizing others and making them fall asleep. Starting instrument, uh, I chose a violin. And then for the abilities, most people uh, would probably recommend higher constitution, but I, I think of him as like physically frail and weak. And then I put a bunch of points into charisma, dexterity, and uh, more into intelligence and wisdom than I think most people would recommend. Again, just for role-playing purposes. And for the skills, there's uh, three subclasses you can choose from with the bard later. is uh, College of Valor, College of Swords, and College of Lore. And the two first are more, more like uh, combat-oriented. And this guy is obviously going to be uh, Lore. And uh, when you choose that, you actually get Intimidation. So if you choose that now, it's a waste. I'm glad I saw that, although you could just respect later. Anyway, I wanted religion because I'm thinking I want to give this guy a little bit of a cult leader vibe as well. So in religion, it fits him perfectly. I'm going to call him Alistair, but he thinks of himself as like Alistair the Magnificent or something like, something like that. The greatest performer in uh, Faerun. Choose a guardian. I don't really know what impact this will have. Maybe it's randomized. No. <laughs> yeah, I have like no connection to. I don't know what this is, so I'll just uh, change her a little bit so it's not like default. And that's everything I'm gonna do with this. I get chills actually, this is so good. Oh, that's how they're catching them.
Yeah. So, we've been captured by Mind Flayers, a strange type of creature who, who uh, travels between dimensions and trying to take over m multiple worlds, I guess, with uh, mind-controlling creatures and psionic shenanigans. <laughs> the one lying here, actually. Jade. Dead. Good. This is the only part the of the game I've played. From the parasite now writhing behind your eye. Investigate. So if you're new to the game, this is like how many interactions work. Uh, you have a difficulty class and then a dice roll. And now I succeeded. And you also get bonuses to this from your uh, attributes or buffs, spells, proficiencies. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Yeah, so I know, uh, like I said, the Nautilus, this first little introduction, is the Which only part of the game I've played. So I know this thing breaks if you touch it and it damages you. Um... Here goes nothing. Someone else got out. Oh, maybe not jump into the fire. Brine bulb. Oh, chest. Oh, found something. Potion of invisibility. Go. I didn't find this the first time. Uh. Uh, I've read about the tactician difficulty, and people generally th seem to think that it's almost too hard, like frustratingly hard, so that is going to be interesting to see. But I'm looking forward to that, because that means that I have to learn all the little details about the combat system. And I think I've looked at a lot of mechanical guides. There's so many factors at play, like if you're hidden when you attack, if you make a sneak attack, or if you're in darkness, or if you're uh, higher or lower ground. And I mean, so much more. It's very, very deep. Oh. So Goblin. Here. I hope. Four gold. Illith record. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Ah, I see what they've done. They probably, like, extracted uh, his thoughts, something, into a uh, record. Brain jar. There's more records here. Rune slate. A schematic of an autoloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Okay, so the ship is kind of, uh... Half living. A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. Hmm. Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. Yeah. Okay, I hear some whispers. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually outside flying on this giant ship. Huh? Who's trapped? Okay, let's check this out. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Mind flayer horticulture. Yeah, Cerebral Aquarium. Oh! It's an elevator. We are here. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I did this with my other test character. Come to save 
save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. Please. Before they return. They return. Okay, so I got a fail for perception on this one. Um, who am I talking to? Man or brain? I think you're past the point of saving. <laughs> Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. I don't trust this thing. Uh, dexterity? We have a really high dexterity. Uh, gently prise the brain from the skull. Yeah, this is probably interesting. We'll do this. Come on. Yes. Oh, I'll check this thing out as well. Ah. Uh. This is not what I did. I made a barbarian the, when I tested this, and I just broke the, the skull. From the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Hmm. Uh. Ah, uh, it's uh, difficult. Already difficult. Uh, um. I think he would pre be pretty angry at this uh, thing. We're, situation we're in, so we'll uh, we'll, we'll cripple the strange creature to make sure. It, no, actually, we will take care of it. Could be our little pets. That's even more deranged. So spare the creature. <laughs> it's a little pet brain. Oh, oh, no! What the hell? Oh. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Okay. <laughs> it's like already starting weird. All right, let's go, friend. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Something was put in my eye. What was that? A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful, <laughs> so powerful. Hmm. Uh, can you tell me where we are? In a realm where we have fled. We have fled to a realm called Avernus, first of the nine hells. We are escaping a great evil. Hmm. Okay. Uh, why was I forced onto this ship? To know you. To love you. To give you our gift. Okay. <laughs> we are going to the helm. My friend and I are going to the helm. Oh, this is actually... Uh, uh, I, I, I assume this is not going to be a permanent companion, but if it w would be, it would be fucking awesome for this guy to <laughs> have this as a companion. To really take care of it, building bonds with this little brain dog. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited for this game, by the way. I like. Wow. Yeah, this ship is getting attacked by some uh, dragons, which seems to be a opposing force to the mind flayers. think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days we will be Geich, 
Mind flayers. We're turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Oh, nice. I'm so happy I, d I, I uh, brought this little friend. So cool. Okay, commence battle. Use our crossbow. Seems like a bardish weapon. And this so this guy actually helps us. So it seems like when trying to escape from the dragons, the ship, the Nautilus, and the Mind Flayers escaped and sort of teleported into Avernus, the Hell, and instead got attacked by these uh, imps. Okay, they're attacking Brain Dog. Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't ha actually. Uh, we don't have a melee weapon at all. We only have our crossbow. Bardic inspiration. Let's see what this is. Yeah, so this seems really cool. We can use this both in combat and also for the like ability checks for the dice rolls. So you get a potentially big bonus to, to, to that as well. So, but I think we can use that three times until a long rest. Yeah, and while... Uh, uh, we're talking about dices. I uh, I decided to turn off genitals and cinematic nudity because uh, of YouTube. Uh, I didn't know this game had that, but it does. And uh, yeah, this karmic dice. This is basically a rigged dice. So if you get a few bad throws in a row, you, the dice starts like getting more and more lucky, which is how pe some people think that dice actually work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the gambler's fallacy. If these people play if Baldur's Gate and have karmic dice on, it's like I told you so. The, the dice remembers. So we won't. We won't do. Th Did I turn it off? No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't want that on. This guy is actually really tanky compared to us. Twenty-seven hit points. I have uh, eight. Nice. That's an easy battle. Like first. Uh... You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now to the helm. Friend, we are going to the yes, helm. Yes, we're going to the helm, friend. We are going to the helm. Oh, potion of speed, a skull, and a void bulb. Throw this alien bulb at a target and possibly pull in nearby objects and creatures. Hmm, some kind of gravity thing? Light crossbow? What am I? Hand? Oh, this is actually better, I think. Let's take a little time to look at this. Piercing shot, and this has mobile shot as well. So it's a smaller one, a hand crossbow. The light crossbow seems to be a two-handed weapon, and that's the only downside. Uh, it doesn't affect me because I don't have anything in my other hand at the moment. Anyway, we'll go with the light crossbow. Potion of healing. It's great. And I also think like this is perfect for this nice. channel in one way, because this is... Um, with all the dice rolls, Ready. it's like... I assume people would be save scumming this so much this game, and I won't. So this crazy stuff's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we won't reload anyway. Whatever happens, might maybe maybe I'll just like have to start a new character because we'll uh, all companions are gonna be killed. I think we're actually good at this type of weapon. 
Finesse weapon, yeah. Scales with your dexterity instead of your strength if your dexterity is higher. Okay. I'm like crushing guides on this game, I'm reading and watching so much stuff and it's very interesting so it's fun as well, it's not hard work. But I, even though like my character is crazy and unhinged and uh, I, I plan on myself actually learning the game mechanics really well. Okay, touch nothing without knowing its purpose. I think not, lady. I think um, Alistair is the type of guy who would touch everything without knowing its purpose. So, we'll do that. Push this. <laughs> okay, I'm oh, sorry, sorry. These guys died, it seems. Sacrificed the cultists. I think I sacrificed them. we we'll push another one. Candle? A burning candle? That's weird. Oh, maybe these cultists are actually like willing participants. Maybe on the mind player's side, sacrificing themselves. Yeah, this is uh, Shadowheart, the companion locked in this. Let's see what we can do. Get me out of this town city! We have no time for stragglers. Look for a latch. Might the open the lid. Is too alien. Nothing looks <laughs> Doesn't this understand. I like this guy already. I like it. <laughs> I think this is gonna be really fun. Uh, I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Okay, the contraption next to the pod. This one. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Hit it. Nothing. The console <laughs> Just kicking it. Uh, yeah, that's surprising that uh, doesn't work. Oh, I'm all giddy. I mean, this is going to be uh, such a great adventure. Whatever fits this socket must power this thing. And it's so fun as well to be completely blind in an adventure like this. A brain in a jar. Discussion. Dead thrall. Oh, we got a key here and a scimitar. Is this the helm? No, it's not. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Place your hand on the console. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. No, oh, no. <laughs> we did this. Oh, she, she's turning into a mind flayer. So th I guess that's the Change end goal then. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Yeah, it might. We need to get out of here before it's our Oh, turn. more healing potions. That's good. Another brain. Another slave mind? That's such an interesting idea. Quill, Eldritch Rune, Gold. This might unlock those so. controls next to the pod. Oh, okay. Thank you for the hint. So you see, there's uh, many pods in here. They're like changing creatures into mind flayers on mass. Mm, so where was the? Okay. First we'll do this, we found a key, onyx and gold, we can open the chest, and then we'll go save Shadowheart, uh, I think it's so this console thing here then, put the object in it. The console appears dormant. 
Insert rune? The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive? Or transform her like that other unfortunate? Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, I don't know, like... I don't want to transform her into a... Uh, <laughs> into a mind flayer. So this is a pretty important decision. We won't place our hand on the console because that transformed the other one. So we'll take a closer look. Okay, we learned something. Maybe we we'll get a hint now. <laughs> yeah, I can just see this guy. You'd be so nervous if this guy was control at the controls when you're in <laughs> Mind Flayer's pod. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. <laughs> okay, perhaps. That sounds reassuring. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Uh, okay. Uh, wisdom will the pod to open so this is a wisdom check we'll have um oh it's very easy we we'll have to be super no what the fuck <laughs> no critical failure no no Feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and reject it oh what happened let me out so Okay, I'm nervous about this. Come on! Get me out of this thing! Like, I assume... I, I'm, um... Stay calm, woman. Okay. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, okay, we need to find another way to get Shadowheart out of this place. Uh, can we attack it? Probably not, right? <gasps> You're barely dented. Uh, this, uh, I mean... Sometimes, like, it's uh, objects in the world like this, can you... I mean, this was conspicuously placed. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, I don't know if that helped. Probably not. So, we'll just have to leave Shadowheart here. So, we got an <laughs> incredible start. <laughs> Right at the beginning. I mean, it... I assume she's pretty good to have. She's a cleric. And, um... She's a healer. Which is usually really good. So, if we leave her there... Does that mean we're not gonna get her as a companion? I mean, how do we roll a 1 on a 20 side dice? Should have used Bardic Inspiration, maybe. Oh, we'll use this one. Restoration. Oh, I feel. Yes, I will trust you, Brain Dog. I need to get out of here now. Okay, so I, I've done this once before. You should just run past this guy, the commander of the attackers, and go to the controls there, connect the nerves. But I think we should actually kill these easy ones here first. Hellbore, we missed. Yeah, this uh, lady, Lazel, she's a fighter. Can we shove this one? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a fun dynamic. You can push uh, um, enemies down uh, 
hills and stuff. I've been playing so much Fallout 2 that I I'm like nervous about what firing when an ally is in the way. I don't know if that is active in this game. Uh, Cambion Oh, this is super tough 100 hit points Yeah, we're not supposed to fight them at all One day I'll catch a break. Okay Wow Come a little closer. He's coming for us now Oh, this seems dangerous We'll actually leave a brain dog further back. Sorry, brain dog, but uh, you're less important than me. <laughs> Maybe I should actually take Lasael and put her closer to the demon instead, because I'm already attached Can't to down. brain dog. Oh no! Oh, okay. Brain dog is one hit points. Nice. You've made it in time. More coffee. Oh, that's how you work that thing. Connect the nerves. Looks like a battle in the background, and there's goblins, I think. Oh, I love these dogs that they have. That would be my, like, favorite companion. I love the, in Dragon Age Origins, the Warhound you could have, even though it's, like, maybe not the best companion. It's such a cool one. love this part like when mo many RPGs like this has that kind of introduction thing that you have to get through and then the game really starts as you wake the tadpole squirms in your skull where did you land the chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape you'll need to find a settlement or landmark and you'll need to do it quickly the tadpole is a death sentence and the clock is ticking you need a cure all right, uh, I I really hope we can still find like Shadowheart in uh, maybe the pod broke in the in the crash something like that would make sense. I think it's kind of brutal that you wouldn't get her as a companion, but also I think that's a hallmark of good games that they are brutal in that way. Good RPGs like you can actually screw up and not get a companion completely. 
a hammer and rope. Don't know what that would be used for, but... And we got a pouch. We'll pick that up, actually. This is one of these. I, I've looked at... No spoilers at all. At least not intentionally. But... I've looked at a lot of, like, tips and tricks. And the uh, gameplay mechanics. And this is one of them, to pick up, like, pouches and backpacks and use them as little uh, extra slots in your inventory. Or for sorting, I guess. Oh, is this brain bot? No, it's just a, a random one. Mare grass? Okay. Perfumed letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. And if we, you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And I'll keep saying it until we're old and gray. So, let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so is staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're here. Uh, leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. So... This guy then is uh, Sai, and he he was supposed to meet his loved one Anna, and they wanted to go to Baldur's Gate on an adventure, I guess. Fish, gold, and a mug. Yeah, like fish and stuff. That that's camp supplies, and you need to gather it to be able to. Hiding here. They can't oh, hold forever. that's Shadowheart. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, camp supplies. You need to gather it to be able to do the long rest. Yeah, we'll just take everything. <laughs> this is interesting. It's not my fault, lady. What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. Oh, At I'm glad she knows that. You made the effort. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion. Resolve. And a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. The mind swap? I experienced it before on the ship. You felt it too. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You know about the mind flayers? Tell me everything. I don't know much, but enough to be afraid. This is how they breed. I'm not sure how much time we have left, but I'm not going to wait to find out. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Interesting. Explore the ruins. It's a quest we got. Looks like you need a hand. Be my lady. guest, but that door's too strong. Maybe there's another way. Up the cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these things. It'd be nice to have another hand in the fight. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Your name is unusual? After everything you've been through, my name gives you pause. Please. How did you end up on the ship? That is none of your business. I suggest we concentrate on surviving. I'm Alistair, we'd better get moving. Lead the way. Okay, so I'm happy about this. We didn't lose her as a companion. Loot these brain dogs. Into the yeah, intellect devourer. So interesting. I've tried already. Damn thing won't budge. Ancient sigil circle. What's that? Map. Uh, this is the map of your surroundings. Yeah, there's a tutorial. Ah, it's a waypoint, so you can fast travel. 
was just uh, looking at our equipment here, and it seems I saw this. <laughs> uh, I saw uh, this ignoble hat. Pretty, pretty suiting, actually. Pretty perfect. Armor. You have this. Let's see how it looks. No, that's. <laughs> Yeah, this is better also. This is light armor. We are proficient in light armor. We can take a look at this. You see our proficiencies, I think, uh, here. Yes. Proficiency bonus. We have light armor and shields. We actually get shields also from being human. Bards normally don't have a proficiency in, in using shields. I love how they made all the spells and menus and everything it's like very unusual that a new game manages to stay close to the original game in style while just improving the graphics and i think they made such a perfect job of that this is really beautiful it's like w awakens that fantasy role-playing uh, wonder you had as a kid let's go this way Oh, let's get going. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a look at him in his hat. <laughs> I love this guy. Sometimes, like, you feel like you hit gold with a character, and I already feel that. More of those wretched things. Okay, we got more uh, brain dogs. Okay, so let's try to think about this and um, have a good battle. I'm gonna try to sneak up on these guys. I wanna get to higher ground and then make a sneak attack on maybe up here. Yeah, we'll try this. Hmm. Is that their vision? Oh yeah, yeah. You can see their vision? Wow, that's so cool. It's like they don't see up here. Okay, there's three of them. And we get advantage. Can we do a... Okay, Bardic Inspiration lasts until ne next long rest, so... Let's do that on her then. On Shadowheart. Bard... Okay, no, they saw us. <laughs> yeah, that actually makes sense. Like, maybe not start playing violin when you're sneak <laughs> sneaking about in stealth mode. So he has gaping wounds now. Yeah, they have to move around. Oh, no. Yeah, but they're missing. So gaping wounds just adds damage to the next attacks. Fireballs. Yeah, we can do it from up here. And he has gaping wounds, so should... Oh, she leveled up as well. Nice. But we can't level up in combat, I assume. Can we use healing word as well? Yes, we could. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Great. Hopefully, if we move back far enough, he can't hit us. Slow down. Can we, like, hide some way? I guess we could use a potion, but... Yeah, I'm actually gonna play this, like... This is also a hallmark of this channel. I'm gonna try to play, like, if it's hardcore. We don't take uh, unnecessary chances and, like, rely on reloading. Nice. Critical miss. Ooh. Wow, they do so much damage. Yes, 90%. But doesn't do a lot of damage. We need to use... Yeah, we'll need to use a healing potion, I think. That's just a bonus, a bonus action. That's good. Okay, this should do it. Oh, nice. So, we level up. Your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to restore hit points and other resources. Yeah, I also hear people say that you should do long rests often because not over, it also true. helps progress the relationship uh, stories between the characters. So, let's level up. It's gonna be fun. So, what do we get? 
Okay, health increase 8 to 13, from 8 to 13. Uh, one spell slot unlocked. And yeah, this jack of all trades. Half of our proficiency bonus to ability checks that you're not proficient in. So this means that we get like a, a little bit of bonus in all the skills. Which is really cool because, like I said, I want the, this guy to be really a jack of all trades. So it's a wonderful. Song of Rest. This is uh, has the same effect as a short rest, which is great. And we'll add a spell. So what should we do? Maybe this guy has learned by now that we should uh, healing is good. Because I think that's also in, in line with role-playing. Like, you start off a character in a certain way, but then if the character learns from his experience in the game that uh, something is needed, you can change direction. Animal friendship is really cool as, as well. I like all the mind trickery things. Heroism. Temporary hit points. Disguise self. Speak with animals. Oh, this one is good. Long Strider. I've seen this around in guides and stuff. It's uh, because when it has like until a long rest, it's so good because you can just cast it immediately and then have it on like with, without limitation until you take your next long rest. That's really good. I think that's it. We'll do that. Let's see what Shadow Heart gets. Okay, 10 to 17. Channel divinity charges. You gain the ability to channel divin divine energy. Turn undead and an effect determined by your domain. Actions turn undead. You gain that. Actions invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Within 3 meter of the illusion, attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. So if you're new to the game, advantage means you, you throw the dice twice instead of once, and you choose the high, the better uh, of the die throws. And um, the same goes for disadvantage. That means you throw two dices and uh, you get the worst result. <sighs> Love this. I actually, when I played uh, Baldur's Gate 2 as a kid, I was kind of annoyed with the whole the die uh, tabletop mechanic because I di didn't understand it. Now when you are an adult it's e easier to understand and I also really like it. It's like very, it's very, very, it's complicated but it's still like very clear. Okay, we got a potion of speed, caustic bulb, skull and spiked bulb. So these are throwing uh, like fantasy hand grenades. <laughs> This makes all nearby enemies bleed, and this makes this caustic acid, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, some acid uh, bomb. Silver locket. Oh, 55 gold. That's a lot for us. But yeah, it's gonna be... S oh, let's see. Dead Mind Flayer, another one. Yeah, I've talked about this in other playthroughs, but I really, really love when me as a player learning the game actually overlaps with the character experimenting in the game. So, like, if you have a mad scientist uh, or like this, a crazy bard, and he's like, wants to know what his spells do, you might just try it on, on some unsuspecting civilian or peasant or something, and uh, it's is both me and him learning at the same time, so it's like in character. Yeah, this is Asterion. Seems like a good moment to talk. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? <laughs> uh, kill it yourself, you look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Okay, we get a dexterity quickly roll away.
So we get, yeah, we get one point in jack of all trades to that. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Put the knife away and maybe we can talk. You'll talk. I can... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Oh, the Mind Flayer's worm, it's con it connected us. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. Uh, no, let's see. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldurian, introduce yourself. You're a Baldurian too. So yeah, we, since we have a noble background, we get this option here. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind turn players. Into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first... Um, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. I don't think... Uh, maybe later... I think... Uh, we ourselves will sort of maybe serve the role of a thief, a lockpick, uh, etc. So we might not need him, but I'm not sure. At least now he'll you know, travel with us. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right, I accept. Lead on. Okay, he leveled up as well, immediately. Seven point hit, hit point increase. Yeah, and he gets uh, these. Cunning action, hide, dash, and disengage. Which, uh, just the same as the other ones, normal ones, but this is a bonus action, so it can be used in combat more easily. To be dangerous. You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yeah, it's uh it's controlling us, I think. This isn't right. Step away. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished oh. for it. <laughs> you should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. Interesting. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Intelligence, concentrate on its thoughts. Your minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. 
submit to the feeling, lean in, ask for a kiss. Resist the intrusion with everything you have. Hmm. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we're angry, so we'll try to resist. Let's see if we can resist. Yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> Guidance and jack of all trades pulled us through. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Um, leave it to die slowly or close the eyes forever. I think we'll just make sure it's dead. Did we get experience for that Monster. as well? Death is too good for it. Potion of healing, caustic bulb, and void bulb. What is that? Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. goblin bow and supply pack yeah that's good because it takes uh, when you're playing on the hardest difficulty it requires 40 no 80 camp supplies to uh, make a long rest on easier difficulty i think it's uh, 40 and on the easiest i don't even know maybe it's free what's this looks unstable somehow looks unstable let's check it out Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, we'll touch it. I mean, when when is like you're being careful or being uh, interested and impulsive, we'll always go with the touching the sigil. <laughs> Oh, Gale, that's a companion as well. Anyone? Potential companion. Uh, charisma, attune yourself to the sigil's magic, then bid it to quiet down. Yeah, we'll try this. Oh, very easy difficulty class. We'll add this as well. Uh, we basically can't fail. I think he's a warlock. Do we need a tank for our crew? We only have like casters and weaklings. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions. At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Never mind the Nautiloid, how did you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? <laughs> I took control of the ship, landed it safely and saved the day. That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. <laughs> so who am I to argue? <laughs> still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating...
excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers. It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join us. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. So, nice. Okay, the Wizard of Waterdeep. Let's see what he is. No, is it just a wizard, not a warlock? So, let's level him up as well. So, I wasn't really ready for this. We're, <laughs> we're supposed to choose a subclass already, which isn't a big deal because we can always respect later. But um, I'm gonna go with Necromancy, even though this might not be a full evil playthrough. I think this is the weirdest and strangest and darkest one, and I feel like it has the... It just suits Alistair and the feel of this playthrough. So we get... Uh, this is like specializing in... Uh, Summoning zombies and skeletons and stuff like that, I assume. We get subclass feature Grim Harvest as well. So when we kill something, we regain hit points. If we kill it with a spell, and if we kill it with a, a necromancy spell, we get even more hit points. So that's cool. We get uh, cheaper to learn necromancy spells as well. And for this... I want to see what this does. Uh, Hurl a sphere that deals thunder damage and possibly creates a surface on impact. So we'll tr try that out. And then I'm gonna go with shield. Uh, uh, increase armor class by 5 until long rest. You take no damage from magic magic missile either. So we'll try that one as well. And we'll prepare our spells. Grease is interesting as well because it covers the ground in Grease, slowing creatures within and possibly making them fall prone. But also I know that Grease can be lighted with fire, so for even more damage, like the whole ground takes, uh, starts burning. Fog cloud, the cloud blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it. Yeah, it's gonna be incredibly interesting to ex experiment with this. Yeah, we'll add this instead, chromatic orb. So, all right, we got a full party going, although it's not a very well composed party since we have basically no tank. <laughs> I thought this was pretty funny. We got uh, rescue the Illithids captive. And I was like, we didn't rescue anyone. We, <laughs> and the quest says, we left the captive inside the pod and escaped the Nautiloid without her. Quest completed. <laughs> I think that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> No one stopped me yet. Time okay, let's head out. Ahead. I think uh, maybe we should actually do a few of these uh, until Seek long rest spells. Me. We'll do major armor on Gale. And maybe Still we'll do. Here. Should we do a bardic so inspiration maybe as well? We'll do that on Asterion maybe. Bardic inspiration, there you go. Moving ahead. A fire. It's, uh... No! <laughs> I screwed up. Uh, you couldn't jump that far. Oh, we're still burning? No, no, it passed. Okay, so... I'll actually do, uh... Let's do a song of rest, actually. Get back our... We're so hurt. 
Okay, full health. Nice. Broken. Must have been here a while. A smashed cage with some beast lurking nearby. Oh, torn in net trap. Another broken trap. Who made these things? Yeah, who made these things? Not much use anymore. Okay, uh something going on here. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a uh, last sail from the Nautiloid. Hmm. I we could like attack these, sneak up on them and attack them, but I don't have loyalty with last sail, I feel like. Almost the opposite. I don't like her for some reason. Let's just go and see what happens if we go up there. Was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Okay, get rid of them. Ah, uh, rather demanding for a woman in your position? Why should I? Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Okay, Remember she... how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, Shadowheart, on this. But let's see, we got a bard deception here. Oh gods, if you caught a scout, the Gith invasion force is right behind me. Save yourselves! <laughs> uh, okay, this is gonna be a big one, I think. We got uh, deception proficiency, so 2 plus for that. 3 plus from charisma. So it should be pretty easy. Yeah. This isn't worth it. I'm out of here. Enough gawking. Get me down. Oh, she's so rude. Say please. <laughs> never. Oh, never, huh? I think this is a real sensitive thing for Alistair to be talked down to like this. Observe and listen. Enough gawking. You'll hear Get goblins before you see them. As you, you say. You'll hear goblins before you see them. He said to her. So I think we've arrived at one of those spots where this is probably a really good companion to have and maybe even important for the main quest, <laughs> getting rid of the Mind Flayer Parasite, but Alistair just doesn't like her. So I think, <laughs> and with her attitude, I think she, she might end up uh, having to stay in that cage <laughs> and learn her lesson. Seems like a good moment to talk. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. <laughs> Why? Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. Mind flayers, the atrocities we are becoming. Becoming? There's no hope for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. She's so... Get me down. Get me down. Yeah, she's so rude. You try my patience. Yeah, actually, lady, you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do, lady? You'll get something better than freedom. <laughs> You'll get a performance by Alistair the Magnificent. <laughs>